What's up, Warpath family? Yep, we're back at it with another video. I appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning into the channel, hanging out, coming, watching the content. Truly appreciate it. Anyway, today, guys, we are going to jump into more about the Army Group. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned. All right, guys, I seem to have confused some people the other day with my video uh, was not my intention, but I was trying to consolidate like weeks and weeks of people talking and discussing different metas and why and discussions and all kinds of things. Tried to consolidate that into a short little, you know, six, seven minute video, and it's pretty hard. So I jumped around a bit, seemed to have confused some people. So if I've uh, upset anybody or whatever, that wasn't my intention with uh, the video. I was trying to talk in a discussion about some of the new metas changing because of these army group tactics, meaning their skills or whatever, different things that could be ran and why. And so like right here, when we talk about the tactics, you have command and coordination, right? And people were saying like command is for the person that's running the army and coordination is for the people that join the army. It's true, but... One thing that I didn't have time to elaborate on that I wanted you guys to understand is, is like most of the time people with enough points, let's say that they did get up all the way to their 60 points, um, they're not going to be spending the 2000 gold like multiple times a day to reset. And because this game doesn't have, you know, presets already, like you can preset A, B and C like other games, um, you really have to, you know, click away at this and pick. And some of, the, some of the times things are, you know, not always fundamentally set, meaning 60% of the alliance, the guys are going to come online and they're going to be like, you know, hey, here's my, you know, units or whatever, or here's a single unit, but I'm also going to run an army group or I'm just going to run an army group right now. So it's not just always like cut and dry, like you only have people that run army groups and you only have people that, you know join the army groups so with that being said you have to use your 60 points wisely if you even have that maybe you only have 40 or something like that and so you have to choose these tiers and what i was trying to say was the meta was changing based upon what people tend to dump themselves into and i want to explain a little bit about these army groups if you guys hang on to the video just hang in there a little while i'm going to explain how I understand some of these things because they're a bit little confusing because when you go to this I symbol right here, you can see that the this one down here, pretty pr plain and clear, coordination talent buffs are only unlocked for your own units in the army group when the army group is formed. But then you go to four, the army, the, com the command talent only takes effect for the founder of the army group and not for the other members. But then down here says that the founder of the army group gains increased unit max talent buff when the army group is formed, all members of the army group gain other command talent buffs when the army group is formed. So, I mean, we obviously kind of get what they're getting at, but sometimes the way that they word things, I don't know if it's a translation problem, but it gets a little bit confusing. I had quite a bit of people ask me questions about this, honestly. I mean, you guys might think it's pretty cut and dry, but, you know, they ask me questions like, if... I have buffs on my units and they have buffs on their, you know, coordination set. And then the guy has the buffs that's commanding. Do they all add together or is it just my buffs and his buffs or is it mine only or is it mine and his? And oh my gosh, the scenarios were crazy. But I mean, people have valid questions and I've asked, haven't gotten any answers back from Lilith yet. But for the most part, command is meant for the person who's running the army and coordination is meant for the person that's joining the army, right? But even in the command, I know a lot of you guys said like how you interpret, there's two different things going on here. So like in the middle, if it'll click on it, you have just a basic, the whole army group gets firepower, right? And right here, the whole army group gets durability, like simply put, that's pretty simple. However, on one side of it, it says increase army attack damage for the same unit type. See, it says uniform, same unit type. And you guys are correct in the comments. Like, they interpret it meaning just artillery, just tanks, or just infantry. That's true if you choose that side, right? So that's relevant to the meta of an army group of what people run. But then there's this side. 
increases army group, and this is the one I clicked on in the video that I was talking about, increased army group attack damage for army group, which include all three unit types, mixed army group attack damage. So this clearly indicates that you need all three unit types to get this buff artillery tanks and infantry and when i clicked on that i said like who uses infantry nobody uses infantry right i don't know that's how i interpret it i mean i read it it says that you have to have all three unit types and that one that means all three unit types so there's one on one side one on the other i'm going through a video five minutes trying to push through this one but you know it is what it is. And then in coordination, because the buffs are lower, even on yours, you get specific unit types or whatever. But it's important because you want to run some of the same unit types inside of it. So like, yeah, if you want all arty and it's all, you know what I mean, in the Liberty faction, but somebody might not dump everything they have just into the coordination set. They might have command and coordination because they run both of it. I don't know. Maybe they spend a crap ton of gold and they'll just switch it out every two hours or something during a battle. That's up to them. But anyway, these ones right here, you know, you have to be very specific about the unit types that you run, right? Like, if I was running a arty and super heavy, I'm trying to explain this, so bear with me. But if I was running an arty and super heavy and somebody put in a rocket launcher into it, I'd be like, what? What are you doing? Like, if I click on one area of the map, one's going to go really fast. No, it's not fast units or whatever, right? Like, I just want arty and the super heavy. But then even if somebody put in Martyr's Watch, you're going to be like, oh, man, you know, because you want liberty, right? You want liberty arty because it's good. I mean, some of you will take what you can get, but. You know, so it's very specific about what unit types you want to be able to try to get those buffs or whatever. So that's why I was talking about finding metas that were of the same unit type so that you can... Because if you branch off both ways trying to get Vanguard and, you know, Arty or whatever. But, oh my god, the scenarios are endless, guys. I mean, we could talk about, and people do talk about endlessly, some of the different, you know, unit types... And what should be put into an army group and how to run that army group. And it's good. It's a good discussion. I really enjoy the discussion. Um, and so that's why I was bringing up the topic of, of about the mediums, which people usually don't take a base with or usually just use them to like hunt down arty and stuff. Not really to run them in groups of base destroying and stuff, but then using rocket launchers, which rocket launchers for the l longest time was like they're just for, I mean, they work, but they're for infantry because that's what they work the best on, and nobody uses infantry, and so, yeah, there you go, or maybe you could use both branches, like, what happens if you were, you know what I mean, trying to do one or the other side, and running multiple or the same, you know, uh, anyway, I just wanted to get that out there about <laughs> why the discussion is so complex about these army groups or whatever. And I am waiting for footage, probably going to be inside of Moscow, to show some of the different army groups that are being formed and ran. Maybe even this weekend I can get some on the Combatant Command, uh, you know, some of the drills that are being done um, during Kill Event and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I'm going to try to get some footage so I can explain it maybe visually instead of just talking about it inside of a video like this, but uh, stay tuned for those. I also have some more testing. I did some testing on some many different artilleries, ATGs, um, defense and stuff like that. I'm going to post that. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to post that here in the next couple days. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you tuning in till next time. Peace.